Today marks 34 days since a massive container ship ran aground in Chesapeake Bay. The 1,100-foot ship is wedged near a shipping channel outside Baltimore. CBS's Scott McFarland got a close-up look aboard a Coast Guard cutter. The cargo ship Ever Forward is not living up to its name. Stuck in at least 10 feet of mud since mid-March when it departed the port of Baltimore and crews didn't make a proper turn. This feels like the shipping equivalent of driving a car off the road and getting stuck in the woods. So, so definitely that's a good analogy. If you've ever been in a marsh and you've stepped in the marsh with your boot and then you try to pull it out and your foot comes out but not the boot, kind of the same thing on a grander scale. The Coast Guard is investigating how the ship went off course, but first must figure out how to get it free. Its owner, Evergreen Line, is removing 500 of the nearly 4,900 containers on board to lighten its weight. They've dredged the bay floor and they're preparing tugging vessels to pull the Ever Forward free. The company has some experience with this. Its sister ship, Ever Given, was stranded about a year ago in the Suez Canal. The Ever Forward isn't blocking the shipping lanes off Maryland, but it's costing an estimated tens of millions of dollars in expenses, and local officials worry about the salvage. The 750,000 gallons of diesel fuel on this particular ship are of great concern, but if 50,000 gallons of diesel fuel gets into the bay, that could mean permanent ecological damage. Environmental groups say the dredging of the bay could have already had consequences on aquatic life. I hope that they're able to unstick it with this, this plan. Uh, I'm still a little skeptical. Teams will check the hull of this ship for damage and then try to replace some of the many containers that have been removed to lighten the load, which means it'll be a while longer till this ship is finally headed to its next destination. Scott McFarland, CBS News on the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland.